day. My name is Vix and welcome to my channel. I am a special needs educator from South Africa and the purpose of my channel is to show parents, caregivers, preschool teachers or special needs teachers like myself different ideas for toys that you can make at home. You know if you have to go out and buy certain types of toys it can cost you an arm and a leg trust me on that so i have decided that there are much ideas that i have that i would like to share with people for simple toys that work just as well as store-bought expensive toys that you can make at home with stuff that you find lying around so today's video the first video i have decided to show you is on a type of paperboard that I have constructed myself. I'm going to explain to you what I've done and show you the product so that you can see it and make it for yourself. Okay, so this is a type of pegboard or sorter if you like. What I've done is I have found a whole bunch of ice cream sticks. Well, in South Africa, we call them ice cream sticks. I am aware in uh, certain other types of countries, they call them popsicle sticks. So these are some popsicle sticks that a family member of mine gave me and said, I'm sure you could use those for the kids. And I said, well, I will make a plan with it. So what I've done is these are already colored. If you do not have colored popsicle sticks, you can paint them. You know whichever color you would like so what i've done is i took a box a small box as you can see uh, i actually just took a wheat bix box a cereal box and i covered it with white paper so i took my paper i wrapped it around and i stuck it all on all the sides with some blue dots and also on the sides i made sure that the paper is nice and stuck kind of gift wrapping a box that is kind of what I've done. Okay, then I took different strips of colors of paper. Um, as you can see there, I took different strips of paper and I stuck it on. After that, I covered it with clear uh, film or cling film or here in South Africa we like to call it Fix. It's basically a clear plastic cover that you can just stick in it. It's self-adhesive so that it's lasts longer because you know with the little ones especially if you can spill on something or especially when it's paper it won't last that long so this is basically just for durability then i stuck those little strips of paper on top of the box as you can see there so that i have each strip corresponding to one color and i have this lady gave me three of every color uh, there are three of each so i've got three yellows um, three pinks, three greens, three purples, um, three oranges, and three turquoise uh, ice cream sticks or popsicle sticks. So I, just, I chose to do this as an adaptation for some of the children that I work with because it's difficult for them to um, have the fine motor skills to actually take a very small pig and put it in a pegboard. So this is a, a much easier and bigger way especially for smaller children as well then what i did was after i was done covering everything i took a knife a very sharp you can use a box cutter if you like and i made three little holes in each strip and i covered it again with another strip of cling foam just to run off uh, so that there's no edges um, sticking out um, as well as just like to help with the durability so this toy or this contraption <laughs> i'm going to call it the popsicle pig board <laughs> uh, is a great um, thing for a pig like i've got something and it's going into a hole so this is good for sorting you can do matching as well it's kind of a match and sort because i mean you have to look at the color and then you have to match and put it by the yellow one and it's also a sorting because it's not just one color that you have to match or two colors it's five six colors that you must sort so then all you do is you take it with you get them to put the popsicle six exactly where the right color is 
pink by pink, yellow by yellow. And this is a very great and very cheap activity for little ones and as well as educational. Even if I have to buy toys for somebody or for somebody's child, I will always make sure that that toy is kind of and has something educational in it. So this is very cheap. It's not going to set you back a lot. You can make it the stuff that you have lying around, like I said. I used scrap paper to make this. I used a, a used uh, old cereal box and some cling form that I had laying around. So it's not going to set you back a lot. At the most, let's say, maybe, I don't know, 8 Rand in South African currency, 8 Rand to make this. In American currency, I would say under a dollar to make this. Because you can even save up your popsicle sticks and paint them and use this. You don't have to use, make it like I did. I, make it, I made mine like it is for a reason, with the colors all being in the same row. You can mix it up and make it your own. So, from me today, this is my, this, my creation. Feel free to use it and make it your own. And once again, it's not going to set you back the price of a pegboard. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my channel. I just wanted to give a big shout out to everybody who likes and subscribes. If you haven't yet, I would like to urge you to please like and subscribe. And feel free to share the video with other teachers or caregivers or parents who are also looking for ideas. Because I believe if you can help it at all, you can use things that you get at home for educational purposes. Well, for me, that is it. Goodbye, and I'll see you next time.